So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another lab that is analyze customer reviews with Gemini using cloud SQL. So first of all click on start lab and open cloud console in the incognito window. So if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now here it's signing in automatically but sometimes it may ask for username and password. So for that refer to the lab ID. So now you have to click on I understand. Now wait for the page to load. So finally click on I agree and then agree and continue. Now we have to wait for a moment. Now from here we need to navigate towards the BigQuery. As you can see we have to create a connection. That is first navigate to BigQuery. You can type BigQuery or just in the search box select the BigQuery. So basically here we have to add external data source. Also add enable the permissions and many more things. Let's dive it into the slab and follow each steps one by one. So here I will get some error and I will show you what error and how we will fix. So as you can see click on add data and as you can see there is nothing so here when you will search the external data source you won't get also here is no option to add so basically you may face error that you won't be able to add the external data source as it's not listed here publicly so as you can see here if it's not showing you can use the vertex ci data source so for that as you can see here it's mentioned so just on the search box type vertex ai in case you are unable to find the data source as mentioned in the lab instruction so type vertex ai click on it now here we have to create the connection so scroll down a bit for connection id it will be gemini connection make sure to check the connection type it's same that is vertex ai models remote functions and big lake so now for the name make sure to do not copy an extra space here is this and now we will check the region that is mostly the location type here it's multi-region if you ask for region select region column and then now click on create connection as we don't have to make any modification click on go to connection and here we will be using service id so the service id will be used uh, multiple times in this lab so copy it in your personal notepad or let the page open now in the search box we have to open cloud iam if you are unable to see just type the search IAM and open in new tab. So just right click open in new tab. Now wait for this page to fully load. Finally the page has been loaded. Now here we have to add new principle that is we have to grant the service account as Vertex AI. So first of all go back to the BigQuery page. If you have closed the BigQuery page just open the search box and type BigQuery. Here copy the service account. Here we have to use the vertex AI. You can either type or just select. So let me show you both methods. I will show you both methods here. So here just type vertex AI user. So now select the first one. Only the vertex AI user. And here you have to click on save. So now wait for this policy to get updated. Labs take time to update the policy. So wait for it. Then we will surely get the score. As you can see, get to uncheck my progress again. Finally, the policy has been updated. Now wait for it. Meanwhile, let's see other steps also. So first hit check my progress. So finally, we got the score. Now we'll move forward to task two. That is we have to review the bucket files and grant permission to the bucket. That is storage object admin role. So first of all, go to buckets by searching buckets, cloud storage, just type cloud storage. Or just select from the navig uh, on the search box. From here, just select buckets on the left side. As you can see, wait for the page to fully load. Now click on buckets. So finally, as you can see, this is the bucket which is available for us and Let's see whether the resources are present inside it or not. So finally, as you can see, here are the resources which are present here. And these are the files that is image folder and customer CSV. 
so finally it's there now we have to click on permissions and here we have to enable the permission basically we have to get storage object to roll to the service account that is present on the bigquery page if you haven't do not close the bigquery page i said that we will be using this multiple times so copy carefully and paste it on here now from here we have to select the storage object admin role so for assign role select storage object cloud storage and don't select storage admin we have to select storage object admin there are two storage admins that is one is storage object admin and storage admin so we have to select only storage object admin make sure to note it out now wait for the policy to get updated then we will hit check my progress for this task so now wait so finally the policy has been updated so here let's create a data set that is the next step so for data set name it's gemini underscore demo just type it and make sure to check the region it's us multi-region so we don't have to make any modifications so just click on create data set now let's hit check my progress for task number two you got the score without any issue now we have to create a table for customer review so basically we will be running multiple queries in this lab so now click on this plus icon and run this query so basically this query will update the table so wait for this query to execute now finally your data has been loaded on the table so now we have to run another query you can just replace the content or just use the plus button i will share both methods don't worry how you can do so finally it has created a new table and now you'll hit check my progress basically we created data set table and slot reservation in bigquery now we have to create a gemini 2.0 flash model so basically in task 4 we have to create a gemini model 2.0 so now enter this and click on run wait for the model to get created so finally the model has been created now hit check my progress for this task you will get the score without any issue hello guys if you are still here do like the video and subscribe to the channel this video is very descriptive so that you don't face any issue now for task number five we have to prompt the gemini so basically you can click on plus icon and enter this query and click on run now it has again started running and wait for some time till it get executed that is this spinner stops so wait for it now as you can see we are analyzing the customer review so basically after analyzing this we have to view the data in the table so basically it is getting saved in a table and we have to view the table directly in our bigquery console so how we will do i will show you in the next step by running the another query to view the table so wait for it so wait for it meanwhile from lab instructions just select the next query and we'll be entering it here now click on run so sometimes you may face error i will share the error in the next part i mean in this video only so finally as you can see we have viewed the query this query we have run now we will analyze the customer reviews that is basically click on plus positive and negative reviews so you can either control a and control v for replacing the entire content first click on control a then control x then control v now wait for this query to fully run so now we will load the data here from the table to our query console so now click on plus icon and run so now as you can see the data has not been loaded properly this was the error which you may face so you have to wait slowly slowly complete the lab and understand each and every concepts mentioned on the lab to complete the lab so wait for the query to run fully so finally it's done now we will move to the query click on plus icon copy the query from the lab instruction and enter here so finally as you can see results will be loaded so now we have to sanitize the record because 
there are many unnecessary data in the our table so we need to remove the unnecessary data and only use the data which will be used for our project so just enter it now after that we have to load the data from the query uh, from the table to our query console so enter it now finally replace it and just run you have two methods you can either click on plus icon and run the query or just replace it so finally click on plus icon enter the query and click on run button so basically this current so now we will count the reviews that is basically the social media interactions so now click on run so basically this query will share the positive as well as negative feedback from the social media interaction so now let's hit check my progress as you can see we got the score now we will be responding to the comments so for that marketing response id will be generated so for that replace the query and run here so finally wait for it and it's done now again we will load this data to our big query console so for that run this query that is select from gemini demo customer reviews marketing finally our data is loaded as you can see in the results section now we have to make this query easy to take action so first of all replace the entire contents as you can see this is our result so now you can replace or just click on plus icon and paste the query and run so this lab is mostly about this only we will be executing queries and viewing data in our BigQuery console you can directly go to the table or just use the BigQuery console so now enter it again now here click on run now finally it's done and as you can see we have to create a customer service we have to create a customer service response as you can see here is the query which we have to paste again in the query console and run it so you can understand this query is being from gemini demo customer review model for the customer reviews and other things so now we will be load the data in the query console so for that just replace it or enter all contents and click on run so basically it's customer response data from the table will be loaded here now again we have to format the customer response so for that we have to use this query only so make sure to use this query so for that select the query and run on the console so here is the console replace it and run it now finally it's done again we have to do one more step that is loading the data into the bigquery console you can either view click on the go to the table or just view directly so now wait for the check my progress to progress so finally it's done now we will create another query let me see how many switch checkpoints have been completed so wait let's run it then check so now again we'll prompt Gemini to provide keywords that is to summarize it for ease of detection so now enter it and then hit run So finally it's done now we'll again load the data into the bigquery console so first of all wait for this query to complete run the query so the data table has not been loaded so we need to wait for this command to execute basically query to execute now finally it's done now we'll run again and as you can see we'll get the output so this is the way you have to complete so wait as you can see we haven't done this query so now again enter this query and click on run now again for the getting the data into the cloud sql that is a big query sql so here it will be loaded and let's see check my progress so finally guys we got full score if you like the way i completed the lab like the video and subscribe to the channel this is the very descriptive